how to customize Shopify refresh team. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize Shopify refresh team. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to shopify.com and register or log in with your existing Shopify account. And on the home page of Shopify, you will see a variety of options on the left side panel, such as home, orders, products, customers, content, analytics, marketing, and discounts. While under the sales channel, you have online store and point of sale. And in those options, kindly proceed by clicking the online store and select the Teams option, in which under the Teams option, you can see a variety of teams that offers by Shopify. If you scroll down, you will see some popular free teams, which is made with core features that can easily customize and no coding needed. And some of those teams including Don, Refresh, Craft, Sense, and Ride teams. And in those options, can you proceed by clicking the Refresh teams, in which upon doing so, you will be directed in here. And it says here that this Refresh team offered by Shopify is a bold team that elevates product quality and brand storytelling. And if you scroll out below, you will see the feature that offers by this team, including some of the description about this team and the content it contained, such as under features they offer for editorial content, quick setup, and visual storytelling. It also includes a cart and checkout features, marketing and conversion, including the blogs, promo banners, cross-selling, recommended products, and many more. While on merchandising, they also provide a high-resolution images, image gallery, image rollover, and image zoom. While for the product discovery, it can enhance search, stock header, mega menu, product filtering and sorting, and recommended products. And aside from that, you can also see the review of the people from this specific teams, in which you will see how many people respond positively or negatively, and their insights about these teams. You can also see the support and documentation of this team. And other than that, it also shows the benefits of using the Refresh team, such as it will help to have a clean and modern design to emphasize product details and to have advanced customization option. And now that you know about all of this information about this specific team, you can now proceed to scroll up and select the View Demo Store, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here, in which from here, you will see the preview design of the teams and the layout, format, and other content that they offer. You will see some of the products with its corresponding prices, while below is the other agency or company that they have a partnership. Well, if you scroll down, it will show you some of the benefits and feature of their team, including the description and benefit of the product and other details. You can also change the view from desktop view to mobile view by clicking the option on the top panel. So just click on the mobile phone icon, and after that, it will show you how your team looks like in a mobile phone. And if you are now ready to use this team, kindly press it by clicking the Try Team button, which is located on the top right corner, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed in here. And after finishing adding a refresh team, it will automatically direct us in this team section. And as you can see here, under the team library, you can see the refresh team, in which you have two options to publish or customize or edit this team. So to customize it, kind of proceed by clicking the Customize button, in which upon doing so, you will be directed in here. As you can see here, we are at the home page of this team, but we can change that by clicking on this tab panel, in which you can choose either products, collection, collection list, pages, and many more. But let's start first customizing the home page section. And to do that, can you go on the left side panel in which you will see a variety of options that you can choose, such as to edit or customize the header, 
template, or footer, in which on the left side panel, you will see some of the elements that you can use in order to customize the layout, format, or design of this theme. Such as this slideshow under the template, you can change the layout, the slide height, the style, or change the slides every 5 seconds, 7 seconds, or the time that you prefer. While under the theme settings, you can import your logo to your header. By simply clicking on your logo section, it will enable you to select image from your computer files. Or alternatively, you can choose from the Explore free images. And by uploading the logo, you can also customize its background color, such as the primary color, secondary colors, and many more. And aside from that, you can also customize the typography, the layout, the buttons, the product cards, the media, the icons, the currency format, and many more. So let's say we want to change the cart. You can choose the cart type in which it will show you some of the options such as page, drawer, and pop-up notification. And aside from that, you can also enable to show vendor, enable cart note, and select the collection that you want. While under the checkout section, you can customize to add or select a background image under the banner or custom image under the logo in which you can change their position, the logo size, and other design. While the other section, which is located on the left side panel, under the template category, you can customize the slideshow, or even added your new slide or new section. And by clicking this featured collection, it will show you some of the products or collection that you have, including some of the upper with its corresponding prices. And aside from that, you can also edit or customize the layout or format of this featured collection. But for the next category is the footer, in which it will enable you to add your new section. And from here, you can link or connect your social media account from here. By clicking on footer, you can add block, which is divided into subcategory, including the menu, brand information, text, and images. And aside from that, if you are now done editing or customizing the home page section, you can now proceed by editing the other section, either the products, collection, collection list, pages, blogs, blog posts, cart, and many more, which is the same process of editing on the home page. Using on the left side panel, you can explore some of the elements that you can use in editing or customizing the format, design, and layout of your theme. And now, if you are now satisfied after you customize this theme, you can now proceed by clicking the Save button, which is located on the top right corner. So that is just how to customize Shopify Refresh theme. Thank you.